In the year 600, the Byzantine Empire was under the wise and ambitious rule of Emperor Maurice, who ascended to the throne in 582. Maurice was a man of action who sought to strengthen and expand the empire through a series of sweeping reforms and victorious military campaigns. One of Maurice's most significant accomplishments was the codification of the Byzantine law in the form of the Ecloga. This all-encompassing legal code drew on both the wisdom of the Roman law and the principles of Christianity, creating a comprehensive body of legislation that brought unity and justice to the sprawling empire. Maurice was not content to rest on his legal laurels. He led his armies on several successful military campaigns against the mighty Sassanid Persian Empire. In these epic battles, the clash of steel and the roar of war cries echoed across the land as Byzantine soldiers fought with fierce bravery against their foes. The smell of burning oil and smoke filled the air as siege weapons battered enemy walls and towers, while the heat of battle seared into the soldiers' skin and sweat poured down their faces. The culmination of Maurice's campaigns came in 591 when he negotiated a hard-won peace treaty with the Persians, securing Byzantine Empire's borders and consolidating its power. However, Maurice's glory was not to last. In 602, one of his own generals, Phocas, led a violent coup against him. The sounds of betrayal and treachery filled the palace halls as Phocas ruthlessly purged all who supported Maurice including the emperor himself and his family. The screams of the innocent echoed across the city as Focus's henchmen carried out their bloody work. Focus's rule was marked by instability and incompetence as he struggled to maintain the empire that he had seized through treachery and bloodshed. But the people were not content to suffer under his cruel reign. And in 610, another general, Heraclius, rose to overthrow him. Under Heraclius, the Byzantine Empire once again found stability and progress. The people breathed a sigh of relief as the smell of hope and promise filled the air. And they worked together to rebuild what had been torn apart by years of turmoil and violence. Heraclius's legendary military campaigns filled the sounds of clashing swords and thundering hooves will go down in history as some of the greatest triumphs of the Byzantine Empire. In the end, the year 600 was a pivotal movement in the history of the Byzantine Empire, a time of both glory and tragedy, of triumph and turmoil. The empire would continue to endure and flourish for centuries to come, a testament to the resilience and determination of its own people. These are interesting things with J.C.